32,000 pixels wide. The final digital asset from film is still <laughs> way, potentially way larger than a 100 megapixel sensor. Let's talk about a real world comparison of this new 100 megapixel Hasselblad sensor and some giant 120 medium format film. During this studio portrait session, we switched back and forth between Kodak Portra 400 120 film and the 100 megapixel digital back. One of the most consistent reoccurring themes in the comments, either about, you know, 100 megapixels isn't really that much. There's phones that shoot 200 megapixels. I don't really care about the amount of pixels. The crop of the digital sensor is pretty significant. Somebody got really mad at me for, for saying that this was a huge sensor. In the world of digital sensors, especially if you're going to talk about somebody's 200 megapixel phone, this is giant. I work with an Airy LF sensor, large format sensor, and it's a similar size to this Hasselblad sensor. This is bigger than a, a piece of 35 millimeter film. So it is big. It is not as big as a 120 square piece of film. There's a great little viewfinder crop little window that you can put on the viewfinder glass and you can deal with the crop factor. You can scan these negatives much larger than this is gonna than, than an image this is gonna take. I made, uh, I just just as an, as an experiment, I, at the, at, this is an Epson V600 scanner, and the largest I was able to scan one of these negatives was 32,000 pixels wide. That's larger than Adobe Lightroom will let me import. Adobe Lightroom cannot handle the largest scan I can make on my little desktop scanner here of this film negative. The final digital asset from film is still <laughs> way, potentially way larger than a 100 megapixel sensor. But I don't think that's the point. That's definitely not the point. I'm not trying to get the largest file possible. I don't care about the largest file possible. At a certain point, what's the value in having the largest file possible? Adobe Lightroom wouldn't let me import that. I can't do anything with it. When I look at these images, digital versus film, the quality of the digital photos, I mean, they're incredible. Sharpness, color tones, I love the digital images. There's a, an aesthetic to these film images that I am drawn to spiritually, emotionally. I mean, there's, there's something about the organic, physical nature of the film that I am drawn to. I cannot quantify it. The overwhelming feeling that I get from shooting film, scanning film, displaying film, and sharing the film, I think that is more valuable to me. That whole experience is more valuable to me than the favorite image that I got. That's a complicated, nuanced, complicated statement. This was a messy experience that resulted in messy feelings. And I don't think I have any answers for anybody on the internet as to whether it's worth it. These are expensive tools, expensive toys. Realistically, you could use any camera and take similar pictures. Okay, health and talk. Please let me have 200 likes. Subscribe me. I'm a Minecraft player. I play 250 times on Minecraft, and I'm pretty good at Minecraft. Please like and subscribe.